So it's been said that Wall Street loves to buy the government because, well, nothing gets done, which means less reckless spending and onerous rules that would harm the commerce, right, the wills of commerce. It wouldn't, it wouldn't crank us up and mess us up. And to be honest with you, there's a fair amount of truth to that, but this is what we've got from the current congressional session, folks. Down there, you see that little thing? That's what we got. Now, that's appalling, right? Even more shocking, news that Nippon Steel is buying U.S. Steel for $14 billion. Now, we know Wall Street loves takeovers, and there's an economic school that actually applauds offshoring industrial businesses because it can often fatten up corporate profits. But to me, it seems not only unpatriotic, but just simply dumb. And it makes me wonder if we learned anything during the pandemic. Remember, we're waiting on the peers for these ships to come in from China to bring us essential things, anything from toilet paper to medicines, by the way, that we created in this country. We're waiting and hoping, and guess what? They were saving it for their own people. And if they had some crumbs and scraps, they sent it to us. Now, I know economic purists, they headed President Trump's steel tariffs, but even some of their own work shows we saw a sharp improvement in production, uh, production capability. Now, right now, the do-nothing Congress is mostly tight-lipped about this potential deal. And I know some see the industry as dirty and old school, and they say, hey, good riddance. They also hate plastic, and I'm wondering, what the heck? What kind of material will we use? To, I, mean, we, I mean, how can you even carry any water, right? We need something. Now, there's also a segment that associates steel companies with the old robber barons, you know, the fat cats, who they blame for everything, except what they did was usher America into the 21st century, propelling us to the most powerful economy the planet has ever seen, and at the same time, they expanded the middle class. Of course, this kind of thinking, along with sending jobs to China and elsewhere, caused manufacturing employment to peak in the late 70s, and it's been in a death spiral ever since then, replaced by drug addiction and suicides, Listen, so I never, I never thought I would do, do this, but I got to give a huge shout out to Senator Fetterman. He has been the only one out there. Everyone is missing in action. He is saying things, uh, and he is wide awake on this. I'm just wondering <laughs> where his colleagues are. Why aren't they saying something? This is the kind of wokeism that's needed. This is a critical moment in time, and I hope this deal is squashed.